Good evening, I'm Lisa Washington. And I'm Scott Schaefer. We begin tonight in Montour County, where a string of high-value car thefts has one dealership potentially losing hundreds of thousands of dollars. Newswatch 16's Jack Culkin is here with just how many vehicles were stolen. Jack. Lisa and Scott Kaiser Brothers dealership along Montour Boulevard is no stranger to seeing cars fly off the lot after being sold. That's not the case with this situation as crooks broke through a garage window to try and steal five vehicles, each worth nearly $100,000. A typical Thursday morning at Kaiser Brothers car dealership quickly turned to panic once employees, including Mark Urick, arrived to find something wasn't right. We were coming in doing our normal lot walk and we kind of noticed that our bay door open was open um, and we ended up having a couple of our high end performance vehicles missing. Pennsylvania State Police say at least four people broke into the Montour County dealership's detailing garage around five in the morning, smashing a window and stealing three high performance vehicles similar to the ones shown. A blue 2020 Dodge Charger Scat Pack, a gray 2021 Durango Hellcat, and a blue 2023 Ram 1500 TRX. All, according to Urich, are valued close to $100,000 each. Close to $300,000 in inventory off three vehicles. Um, it's unfortunate because we really try and get these vehicles out to the community. We like serving our local community here, and to have them stolen right out from under us is, you know, really unfortunate here for our business. This comes just months after similar vehicles were targeted at the same Kaiser Brothers lot. The first time they came through, we did have them on the lot, and once the state police made us aware of it, that you know these high-performance vehicles that we sell here at Kaiser Brothers were being targeted. Um, every night, we'd bring them into our dealership, into our locked doors, and this time around, they actually were brazen enough to break into the actual building. Eric says the dealership plans to follow the advice of state police to beef up security even more to ensure this never happens again. Um, we don't want to see it happen to any other dealerships. You know, we hope the guys that you know, are responsible for this, you know, state police that we're working with, bring them, bring it to justice. Staff did tell us that two other vehicles were almost stolen, but they say that they don't think the thieves knew how to drive a manual.